Hello everyone and welcome to this episode of Ignition Time folks. The White House is working hard to strike a deal for the next major infrastructure package, the stimulus package. In fact, here's what's going on everyone. Here's the headline of an article on your screen from the Washington Post. Something is likely to fall off the agenda. What is it? Paid family leave is likely to fall out of the spending package as President Biden nears a deal with Mansion and Cinema. Now, the White House is indeed meeting with these two senators as the two sides, when I say the two sides, I mean the White House on one side and these two senators try and overcome their differences. In fact, what these two individuals, these two senators said after a two hour gathering with President Biden's aide, they said that there was progress after months of deadlock over the Democrats' initial plans, the $3.5 trillion stimulus plan. But folks, this is causing the Democrats to make uncomfortable choices because many of the initiatives that the Democrats wanted have to be scaled back. And this included a promise from President Biden during the 2020 campaign, which was to provide paid family and medical leave to millions of Americans. In fact, this proposal is out of the bill entirely, according to reporting from the Washington Post. Now, there are many, many other problems for the Democrats. In fact, there's a dispute over a pledge to expand Medicare to include dental, vision, and hearing benefits to seniors. This is something that Bernie Sanders wanted. In fact, Democrats have identified many, many measures to pay for for this package, including a new tax on American billionaires. But Manchin said he was not in favor of this. Now, House Speaker Nancy Pelosi announced that she is going to try and get something done. She said this in a letter to Democrats. Today, we move closer to passing the historic transformative Build Back Better Act. So you can start to see, folks, that the uh, the, the Democrats want to project as if everything is under control. But folks, a lot of things are happening behind the scenes. And it is it is really tough going for the uh, for the White House right now. Now, cutting the package down has been extremely challenging. And this has actually forced Democrats to make some compromises that they didn't want to make. They said they would help workers and families, especially low income Americans. And many, many lawmakers said that basically, that they would they would need to get this done. Otherwise, they could face issues in the 2022 midterm elections. In fact, Pramila Jayapal, the Democrat from Washington, said that the Democratic leaders met on Tuesday night, this Tuesday, and she said that they were willing to try and get something done, but they didn't want to make compromises. She said this, I quote, she said that the entire effort to, to try and sabotage the plan would be another way to kill the bill. She said this, we have to have the full legislative text and the vote. She said dozens of her members would vote against infrastructure if the House tries to move the two proposals independently. She said, what I want is the two bills moving together at the same time. Now, I want you to know what other Democrats are saying. Here's a comment from Congressman Jim McGovern, who's a Democrat from New Jersey. He said, what I need is text. Some text, maybe not the full bill. And he said, we need to be able to start the hearing on what has been agreed upon. So as you can see, folks, the Democrats still don't have their act together. But folks, uh, you know, they're trying. Unfortunately, they still don't have the act together, which is kind of bizarre if you really think about it. In fact, Senator Elizabeth Warren, the Democrat from Massachusetts, said this. It's not looking good. And I wish it were otherwise. She said that. Now, what, what has the president been saying? The president said, no one should have to choose between a job and a paycheck or taking care of themselves and a loved one, a parent, spouse or child. But folks, the big problem here is that is that the Democrats are are cutting back and making compromises. And folks, I want you to know that when the Democrats tried to tax 700 of the wealthiest Americans, including Amazon founder Jeff Bezos and Tesla founder and CEO Elon Musk, this is something that Manchin was not happy with. Speaking to reporters, Manchin called it very convoluted, but he also expressed some openness to what he called a 15% patriotic tax on the wealthy, which he did not explain. He said, I don't like the connotation we're targeting different people. Pretty incredible, folks. Uh, where is the money going to come from? Well, Senator Ron Wyden, the Democrat from Oregon, said every sensible revenue option seems to be destroyed. He said he's not quite clear in terms of the revenue package. He also said this, should we raise corporate tax rates, personal income taxes for the very wealthy? Of course we should. But at least one person 
in the caucus doesn't want to do that. Should we demand that the billionaires pay their fair share of taxes? Yes. There's another person who doesn't want to do that. Obviously, he's referring to Joe Manchin. So you can start to see, folks, things are getting to be very, very difficult for the Democrats. And Speaker Pelosi seems to think that everything is going well. She said this, in the next couple of hours, I will be communicating with you on our path from here to there, depending on what happens at the White House. In the meantime, what's Manchin saying? Manchin said this. He said, we owe it to the president to move forward. And he asked lawmakers to, I quote, take a vote on that. So in the meantime, what is the liberal Pramila Jayapal, the Democrat from Washington, saying? She's saying it is even more critical for liberal lawmakers to have solid text as they try to avoid a scenario in which they try and pass the infrastructure bill and then and then see these two Senate Democrats, Senator Joe Manchin, Senator Kristen Sinema, spoil everything. She said this, had the Progressive Caucus not stood up and fought for the entirety of the president's agenda, we would not be here. She said that there had been more negotiations in the last two weeks than we have had in the last six months. Folks, I want to tell you that I think it's a little bit frustrating that the Democrats still don't have their act together. But, uh, you know, guess what? My goal is to deliver the news to you wherever the news might lead us. And I have referred to Senator Joe Manchin and Senator Kristen Sinema as the conservative Democrats. And I think it's starting to become more and more clear that uh, they are much, much more conservative than they are moderate. So this is a, this is a pretty, uh, pretty incredible turn of events here, folks. Let me know in the comment section below whether you agree or disagree with paid family leave having to fall out of the spending package as President Biden tries to seal a deal with Joe Manchin and Kristen Sinema. Again, the White House has conducted more meetings with these two senators in the past couple of days than they have in the past several weeks. And both sides are racing. Yes, they are racing to resolve a whole bunch of issues in this giant tax and spending package which is designed to move America forward, the Build Back Better agenda. Please click the like button. Please click subscribe. Please enable notifications. A lot of effort goes into the creation and the production of these videos. Please follow me on Twitter. My Twitter handle is ignition underscore time. That's ignition underscore time. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to click like. Don't forget to click subscribe and enable notifications. I appreciate you. I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next episode of Ignition Time. Take care. Bye.